Okay, so I'm going to keep going here. <laughs> um, my card got full. So you're going to see. Whoops, hold on. Let me flip this around for me to see. Oh, wow. FedEx just came and UPS just came. I got some things coming, y'all. All right, so what I was talking about was this um, handbag of the week. And uh, what I was going to do was hang it on this and let it just be hanging there for the handbag of the week and let it just hang there and you, I would talk about it. But for one thing, the Prada looks pretty good. Look, let me just show you. <laughs> just hanging there. It's, it's a big old bag. I don't know where I'd put it if I didn't. So I kind of love that. Um, and plus, you know, I actually um, show you more of the features so it would be hanging it. So anyway... Um, so obviously this has the leather entwined gold chains and I gotta tell you, these are heavy. These are heavy. It's sort of like the other one. The, the real ones are really heavy. Um, I say the real ones, probably the fake ones are too. But anyway, this is a great size for, this is a jumbo size, by the way, um, to put your phone in. Where's my phone? It's way over there. Hi. <laughs> anyway, so... But it is, I, I be, to be honest, I don't use this as a crossbody. You could pull it down to one. It would be crossbody easily. But I almost always use this one, especially because it's so elegant and pretty. This is a really pretty Chanel, I think. Um, I, I wear this one on my shoulder. Yep, I just wear it on my shoulder like that. And it's just a really pretty, I don't want to knock my, my little stand over here, my little seat. Maybe I'll go a little further away so you can see how pretty it is really a pretty bag and because of that it is also calf leather calf smooth leather and therefore I rarely wear it why because I don't want to mess it up so I usually only would go to like I don't know a ladies luncheon um you know where I'm, I'm hanging out with my girlfriends or church um, not even to work, and I'll tell you why. I guess back in the day when we wore hose and heels, and I was a little more elegant and careful with my things, I would. And honestly, this one that I showed you before, this is also, I mean, this leather, I, I mean, it's so soft, I'm shocked that it is so durable. Um, but this I'd throw over my shoulder in a heartbeat, just because, I'm, but I'd still be careful with it. I'm, I am, obviously, I'm careful with all my handbags. Um, even... You know, one of my most famous handbags. Let me show you this. Um, and I, I, when I'm in an insecure mood, I carry this sucker. I got this at a... Where did I get this? Oh, it's when I was doing uh, selling things to raise money for... Um, to stop sex trafficking. And um, what's it called? Women... That's not WOW. Wow. War, Women at Risk International, and I got very involved. Um, I'll have to talk to you about that another time, but I will say this. There are circles of people right around you within the 10 people you know that somehow are tied to sex trafficking. You don't know it. A lot of times it's your friends, kids, in high schools, kids, friends, and it's closer than you think to you. Uh, matter of fact, one of the girls that spoke to us, she her best friend, um, got her involved, um, drugged her, and the next thing you know, she is chained to a bed, and over a hundred men that night had sex with her, and she stopped praying that they would stop having sex, and just said, Lord, please just let me live. And she lived to tell about it. It was very traumatic to hear her talk with no emotion whatsoever, but I guess that's where you are when you're in a place like that. I was very happy that she could even speak to us. It's very, that one and how they had taken a baby and there was used condoms on the ground from the men that had had sex with the baby. I'm like, and she was tethered with a red piece of satin to a pole. I'm wearing satin. Ugh. To a pole so they could grab the baby, have sex with it, leave the condom, a used condom around this back. It was just like, this is gruesome. And I know some of you may be like, Beth, this is Debbie Downer. Sometimes we have to talk about tough things and um, do something about it, right? It triggers us. It is uncomfortable. It's nauseating. Uh, people say nauseous. Nauseous means sicken, sickening. 
you're not sickening, you're sickened, it's nauseated, not nauseous. Um, so, I, yes, this is a nauseating conversation. It's very upsetting. I get emotional. After hearing this woman talk, I got very involved. I started selling some of their jewelry that they make because once they get them out of it, they have to help them find a living or they'll go back to it. Even though you think, why would they ever? It's because they don't know anything else. They don't have any other way to make a living for themselves now. Because uh, some of them are forced, but some of them are prostituted, and they're somewhat forced by the sheer fact that there is a pimp watching them, and they will get killed, or they need the money. There is nothing else that they have. Um, but some of these girls have gotten into it from a friend that got them into it. And it's like, so you'd be surprised how small the circle is around you of this going on. So I got involved, and one of the things that they were selling at this time, I sold some jewelry, um, handmade jewelry that they made and some handmade bookmarks and things like that but they also make these handmade handbags and it's quilted and it's just so secure it's just like when I'm in kind of insecure mood I may wear you know a, a, a sweater and this and a pair of blue jeans and some Uggs and just it's just quilted it's just fabric and honestly it's well made I mean it's got these little snaps and a little pocket in here they even made one of these to hold on to your, your keys and you know it's a good size so I just I may show y'all these, but I also want to show y'all things like this, where it's, it's you know, one of my favorite bags here. This is from Target. I love this thing. This and a leather jacket and blue jeans is so cool. It's this, the city of Manhattan. Matter of fact, it has MetLife and the Empire State Building. That's all that was built. So this must have been in the 50s or 60s. But, um, but look, it's just a little, but it's just so fun, right? I mean, look, it's just a little felt. Well, thank your keys. Everybody has to have a thing for their keys. But it's just, it doesn't even have a shoulder strap. I think it did, but I just love this thing. It's like, oh, that would be so fun just to go meet your, your lady friends for a coffee or, you know, to go out on date night or, you know, honestly, a little church social. This is just cool. I think it was $21. $21.99, I think is what that cost. Now it wouldn't be that. <laughs> but it's one of my favorites. So I just love handbags. I love the craftsmanship. I love um, the leather ones. I love the quality of leather, and that's why you'll see me. There's some of them that I hang on to a little more than the others, like Chanel's. Um, I do like Dior. I've got some Dior's here and here, and, and they're quilted. But I, I like the feeling of the leather, and so the, the less quilted, the better, to be honest. But then I'll like something as structured and as um, not soft at all. Well, I have one that's really soft, but... As the Brahmins, because I choose the Melbourne. Now, they do have soft leathers now, smooth leathers. Uh, they have fabrics. They have so many things now that they didn't used to have. But, I mean, I'm talking about some of my earlier Brahmins, right? So, um, but, and they're also very structured, which I've come to really like structure. I say that as I show you. A quilted bag with zero structure and one of the heaviest, not heaviest, it is heavy because of these chains. Um, but you couldn't get any more unstructured look. I can squish it. I mean, it's just, I love it though. It's like, I'm going to sit and hold it. Anyway, <laughs> that's it for today. Except I think I'm, you may see me in this exact same outfit again. I may change tops because I actually do need to go to physical therapy. Sorry, I'm not like picking ear wax or anything. I'm just having an itch because my hair just got in my ear when I scratched it before. and <laughs> It made it get tickled. Why do I tell y'all all this? I don't know. Did I show you these? Yes, I am hyperactive. Did I show you these pillows? Is that just pretty for this time of year? I love using little pieces to decor like this that you can just throw a pillow. And this is pretty because it's the, this room's colors, but I really love the colors anyway. This green gold and kind of a goldy taupe and this little kind of like a celadon green. Very, very pretty on a uh, gold and beige plaid. How close am I? I got a few more minutes. And then I also love this one because um, y'all may have noticed um, the ottoman in old videos, but it's right below me there. Um, it's that material that's got the French um, language in pen writing, like a quill writing. And so I love this. And I, one of my favorite pumpkins, I know that these are all the different color pumpkins, but I just love the orange. I love orange. It, just this time of year when you have orange pumpkins, like I have them, you know, out all throughout the yard, we'll go get like, you know, 10, 15 pumpkins and we'll put them all over the gardens. And Well, it used to be in the front yard. It used to be very decorative. Now the deer have started eating them for the first time in 10, 11, 12 years. They're eating them. Big old pumpkins as big as this or bigger. 
they're eating them. So I had to go get some plastic ones. I hope they don't try eating those. But they're hungry, I guess. And they know the Buchanan's is a place where we get green apples and pumpkins. But anyway, I always go get some green apples every week and throw them out. And my husband's like, babe, don't do that. You're going to bring rats. And I'm like, rats don't eat them. The, 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 honestly, the deer come every single night. There used to be a apple tree out there. So we've got a new one we've planted. He says, don't put it around that because they'll beat up the tree. They're trying to make the apples fall. That this little tree, it, it can't take it. So just throw them out in, in, out in the island out there where the cannons are. So I do. Canna lilies, whatever you call them. Okay, I think they are called cannons, but they're huge. And they're eating those. They've never eaten those. Anyway, this has got a nice pretty orange plaid, but I leave it on this side, on this little settee, because it's so pretty with the little writing. Little script writing. You all know my mother had writing like that. She had writing like that. And behind every pillow in my house, you will find socks. All kind of socks. All pillows in my house on any couch or chair have these behind the pillows because my feet get cold. And so I always have planted little places I can grab and find myself a pair of socks. And it's funny because we had life group here the other night and they'll move a pillow to sit down. I'm like, because <laughs> there's a little pile of like 10 to little socks in there. Now those are big socks. But I mean, I have like five and 10 pair just, sorry. <laughs> No kidding. I've got to show y'all. You won't believe me if I don't show you. Let me show you. Look right. Let me get the viewfinder so I can see exactly what you're seeing. Hold on. Can you see them? Look behind the pillow. There they are. Those little blue socks and black socks. Okay, y'all. That is definitely enough. And I will see. Oh, there's my little chair that I'm sitting on. And there's the ottoman that I was telling y'all about. I'm fixing to hang a picture. 